Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the S3 AWS. So today we are going to learn about how to upload the files using Malta, TypeScript, Node.js, AWS, S3. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So the packages that we have installed, I will showcase you the packages. Okay. So we required here the AWS SDK Express, Malter, Malter S3. And here we have a type Malters. Okay. And this one Express and Client S3. Make sure all of these extensions needs to be installed into your Node.js project. Okay. Then we have an index.ts file for uploading the files. So let's try this one. So first let me go and just check this one, the files upload. Okay, so upload part. So here we have the postman. Then we have upload. Let's try to upload into our AWS. Let me log in with the AWS console. Sign in with console. Root user. S3 then we have upload images this is my upload directory and let me clean all this delete so just add the delete over here confirm okay so let me go to my upload images and now it's empty right now okay so let's try to upload this image send something okay i haven't started the server npm run dev okay no error let's try to send it file approved successfully let's try to check see the file has been uploaded you can see that this is the file and if you want to make it like open part permissions so you have to make it ACL permissions to view part also public says read okay authenticated just read save changes what it says I understand the effects okay Save changes. Now, if I go and just check this one, you will see that the images is image is there. You can see that we have uploaded this image, right? So, image upload is done. Let's go to the dive into the code level and understand what we have done. Okay. So here we have a Express AWS S3 client from the AWS SDK Malta Malta S3. Then we have a Express and the port. Here we have a AWS S3 configuration. Make sure you have vision credentials, SS key and the secret. If you want the SS key and the SS secret key, go and watch my videos like how to get the SS key and the secret SS key. You will get to know about that. Okay, then we have a create an S3 bucket to store the uploads. So here this is the define the storage engine for the multi S3. So here we have the bucket name S3 configuration, metadata and the key. Here we have make a file part okay then we have a server static folders okay you can upload uh, you have and we have the upload section part right okay so here handle the file upload so here if it is something went wrong no file uploaded then file upload successfully then on which port it is running okay so this is how we are able to upload the any file into your aws s3 bucket with the help of the typescript any doubt, any query, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.